The thing was, I learned what it meant. I learned what it meant. I got Crip wrote all over me, my back, my head, my, my behind my face, it's all over me. I, said four I can't months. get it off. Yeah. But the thing I learned was what it meant. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, man, when you around him. When, when I look at uh, OG Percy, and I, like I said, I looked at that documentary and all the people that, that's in those boxes that you were talking about, different people who died for different causes and things that pretty much uh, mm -hmm. caused you to be there making these speeches, man. Um, does that have an effect on you in the way you live your life? I'll put it like that. The only way, the only thing that has effect on me, the way I live my life, shout out to Tookie, man. Okay. That's, that's, that's the effect on how I live my life in Cribbing. When I found out what it was really about. When I found out what it was really about. The black redemption part. Mm -hmm. The blue rage, you, you can have that. I went through that. I done been through the blue rage. When I found out I am part of that book, as far as my life story goes, and, and to get to the end of the book and find out it is a pot of gold at the rainbow, all you got to do is try to keep watching, keep going for it. Um, Tookie taught me that he taught me just through that book, Bob, I call it the, the Crip Bible. Uh, uh, you can call it what you want to, but um, when I read it for the first time in prison, I read it. And that, and that Bible, that book, you know, I couldn't read. I'm not a reader. I told you I'm not good on reading. But when I got in there, it took you, but it was just something I better learn. I better, I'm going to learn this book. I learned about Buddha. I learned about all. I read that book. Hell, I couldn't even read, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this one. The first book I ever read to the end. Wow. <laughs> The first book I ever read all the way that, to the that, end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but, the but thing, I learned. The thing was, I learned what it meant. I learned what it meant. I got Crip wrote all over me. My back, my head, my, my behind my face, it's all over me. I, said four I can't get it off. Yeah. But the thing I learned was what it meant. When you get the meaning, the black rage part, when you get there, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend a minute talking about trying to convince you what I know about Crip. I, I, I cut for you. You're a good man. But 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 wasting ten minutes we're talking about kind of you can't convince me or nobody else. You might convince somebody else. I believe what you said it the first time. The real nigga gonna say it once, not twice. You hear me? But anyway, you're a good man. It's took you one at the end in a good way. He didn't get the message out. People didn't get the memo. They wouldn't let the youngsters get the memo. They wouldn't let the black man get the memo. They wouldn't let them pass it out to the youngsters. No, they, they killed him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.